Hi there. Welcome back to another video here at AI Code King. Recently, when OpenAI launched details about their upcoming Sora project, it started creating waves in the filmmaking and text-to-video industry. You can see in these examples how cool and realistic these videos look. There are no issues with quality, length, or anything that all the previous models had. But just like any announcement in the AI space, it was followed by many open source alternatives. Unfortunately, they weren't very good. But now, we have got a pretty good contender to Sora in the open source space, and that's Mora. To start, Mora is created by Microsoft. Mora is going to be fully open source. Currently, they haven't shared the code, but they aim to do so in the coming time. They have shared multiple comparison videos between Mora and Sora. So let's take a look. Here, Mora has been given the same input as the Sora video, and here are the results. On the left side, you can see the demo short film that Sora made, and on the right side, you can see the one that Mora made. I think Sora is better, but as Mora is going to be open source, I think it can catch up for sure. Now, let's take a look at the paper that they have released. In this paper, the authors discuss that ever since the release of OpenAI's Sora, there have been no alternatives to it that are on par with it. They also discuss that there is a need for a new video generation framework because current models are closed source. They propose Mora, a framework that uses multiple agents to mimic the abilities of a leading video generation model, Sora. Mora can perform many of the same tasks that Sora can, including text to video generation and video editing. The authors believe Mora's open source nature will aid future research. They also discuss multiple other things in the paper, which I would recommend you to check out. I'll link this paper in the description. Now, let's go back to their GitHub page. As we see here, they say that they will be releasing the code in some time. We already saw the first comparison video, but now let's look at some of their original outputs. As you can see, these are really great. Obviously, they are converted to GIFs, which make it lose some details, but I think these are pretty good generations for an open source model. It is really amazing to see open source starting to progress so much. Once the code comes out, we would be able to see how resource intensive it is and if it really works like this. Feel free to like, comment, and share this video with your fellow developers. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content like this. Until next time, take care. Bye.